Well, hello there. How are you? Well, I'm fine, and I want you to be fine too. You know, the most frustrating time of the year for me is between Thanksgiving, all the way through Christmas, New Year's, until about Valentine's Day. You know that day where you express love for somebody by giving them alcohol and pastries? <laughs> And people wonder why they get sick. You know, they, they like to blame the cold. Oh, the cold. And the cold's actually good for you. I've already proven this. And they blame cold and flu season. They caught it from somebody. You know, if your immune system was nice and strong and you were working like you should, then anything that's floating in the air should not affect you. So anyway, what are you going to do? Let's just get to the point here. What are you going to do? Well, the first thing is stop eating the bread, the sugar, the pastries, the alcohol, the coffee, and all. I've already talked about this stuff. So you got to clear out the mess that you've created. Your colon is clogged up. Your liver is clogged up. Your kidneys are working overtime. You got to clean them out. So if you want to get better fast, the first thing to do, no matter what, Oh, stop with the whining. It's just water. It's amazing how people don't think twice about poisoning themselves with beer and pizza, but water, oh my God, it's so scary. I mean, think about it. It's no different than drinking water, washing your hair, taking a shower, or washing your car. It's water. All it does is wash out your colon. That's it. It just washes the crap out. If You will be amazed how fast you get better doing this. The people who have done this, leave comments down below for the people who haven't done it and tell them how fast you get better doing this. If you have a migraine, if you have a headache, you have some kind of blockage in your body. You're going to say, yeah, but my pain is up here. How can something down here? Just do it. If you have a migraine, if you have a headache, if your energy is run down, if you're depressed, if you're sluggish, if you were just like, oh, I can't move, then do an enema and watch how fast, how fast you're, you go from oh, to yeah, wow. And you feel like dancing, just washing yourself out makes so much difference. It is amazing. I mean, I made a video about it, how to do it. It's really easy. Kara made an, a video about it, how to do it. And her name is on the bottle. So obviously it must be something good if Kara's name is on here. So I highly suggest you do this first before you think about taking something. All right. And uh, this is, it's just water. And don't think about doing a coffee enema. Of course, coffee addicts will swear about putting coffee in there. Yeah, you're going to get a stimulation for it. Your colon is very porous and whatever you put in there is going to go right into your bloodstream. That's why a lot of cocaine addicts put cocaine up their butt because it goes right in their bloodstream. So does coffee. It, you, bam, you, get your, your, you get your caffeine rush immediately faster than if you were to drink it. Coffee also kills your gut probiotic flora, which you need. There's tannins in there. There's polyaromatic acrylamides, all kinds of things in coffee you do not want to take when you're sick. Matter of fact, stop the coffee period anyway. Just use water. The best solvent in the world is water. Spring water, filtered spring water. I suggest not to use distilled because you might get an electrolyte imbalance. Use just spring water, filtered spring water. Anyway, water is the fastest way to get better. Now, this does not, this only cleans out your colon. This does not clean out your liver and kidneys. That's why I suggest you go to step two, and that is the liver formula and the kidney formula because you got to clean out your two biggest filters in your body, and that's your liver and your kidneys. And for those of you too squeamish to use the water bottle, at least use the colon formula. Colon formula does not work as fast as the enema does. This takes time, but it does work on a different basis. This uses herbs and fiber, whereas water just washes everything out. Do not do enemas like a lot. Like don't do it every day for weeks because then you're going to be washing out your gut flora. I suggest doing it maybe two or three times at first and then once a week after that at the most. Uh, Colon formula you can take every day for a month or so. Don't do this full time. This is not meant to be a full time thing. A lot of people go, oh, I, I, I can do uh, colon formula and just eat whatever I want. No, you can't. It, it, <laughs> if you're eating right, if you're doing non-sugary, non-wheat, non-dairy, healthy plant-based stuff that's not processed or baked in an oven, then you shouldn't need this very much. But people like to eat things baked in an oven. They like to eat flour and wheat and bread and crackers and cereal and cookies and pizza and all this. So, you know, you're clogged up in there. You need, you need to clear, you know, if the liver cleans, it's going to send stuff down to the colon. If the colon's clogged up, it's not going to go anywhere. So you need to clean out the passageway. And so it's okay to do both of these at the same time. And I also suggest the uh, colon and kidney formula. 
And if you're really messed up, if you're like toxic, if you're doing really bad stuff, you know, I'm, alcohol is one thing, but even even medication, recreational drugs, all you've got a lot of poisons in your body, then I suggest charconite. This is, you should always have some charconite for emergencies anyway. Drug overdose, uh, some kind of poisoning, food poisoning, uh, you know, accidental things happen. You know, somebody swallows some weird chemical, you should go to the hospital, but this is a good start for the process because charcoal absorbs 10,000 times its weight in whatever it comes in contact with, especially things that don't belong in your body. So if somebody has a drug overdose or, you know, alcohol or whatever it is or something that, or food poisoning, always have this around. Uh, as an emergency and you really can't take too much if you're taking enough water with it it's just charcoal and bentonite very absorbent things uh, so I suggest you know <laughs> half a dozen to a dozen pills if there's an emergency and then if you have to go to the hospital do but um, there's also a few herbs in here because charcoal and bentonite turn into cement in your body especially if you don't drink enough water so I put a couple of herbs in here that help you go to the bathroom that help move it out just like in the colon formula all right this is for emergencies and also I made a video about that I mean, for, for your teeth this is actually I brush my teeth with this you take a capsule open it up to two halves you squish it onto your wet toothbrush and about one capsule is maybe about two servings <laughs> servings uh, and then you brush your teeth with it and leave it on your teeth for a minute or two. It's very absorbent. It'll absorb the crap that's building up on your teeth and it helps whiten your teeth too. So this is actually the, this is your best toothpaste right here. It's Tarkinite. And make sure your toothbrush is wet, brush it, and just leave it on for a little bit. It'll whiten your teeth and absorb a lot of the crap that's that's on there. So anyway, so here's your detox stuff. Uh, I don't have a kit or a set for these particular ones. Uh, it's kind of hard right now because we're redoing the website. And uh, it, I mean, it still works. You can still order this stuff. Go to the website, order it. Um, trying to keep it so I don't raise my prices for as long as possible. So you should have this on, on hand anyway. These cleansing herbs last at least 10 years, 15 years. The nutritional ones, the green formula, protein formula, they last about five years. The expiration date is something that they just make you put on there. It doesn't mean that the herbs are just something gonna stop working at a certain date. Anything that's nutritional, you know, vitamins and stuff like that, well, the, if it's dried and it's it's perfectly preserved in a powder, it should last at least at least five years. And the cleansing ones, at least 10 to 15 years. So don't worry about, you know, keeping them in the closet for a while. So anyway, here you go. After you've had your three months starting uh, November all the way through February, March of crap, <laughs> comfort foods, warm, gooey bread, sugary, dairy, wheat things, liver formula and pro uh, colon formula, kidney formula and colon formula. Do it. I mean, and a lot of water. Drink a lot of water. Get some exercise. Move your body and start eating right. You know, don't use uh, the cold as an excuse. I mean, hell, didn't, soup is warm. If that's okay, do some soup or some some tea. Tea is great. Forget the coffee. We already made a video about that. So tea and soup. If you want to get warm, take a hot bath. <laughs> Go exercise. <laughs> Find somebody to get naked with. What? There's a lot of ways to, to be healthy and warm and during the cold season. So no excuses. All right. All right. So get healthy, stay healthy, and uh, that's it. All right. I hope you're well. Hope you're all. You're fine. <laughs> I'm fine. I hope you're fine. I want you to be fine. Okay. <laughs> See you. See you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>